because this painting is called My Maison, My House. And as you see, I sign it here. But it was not really my house, it was my family house. But I love it very much. And when I look at it, I don't know which one of the houses it is because I live in so many houses. Maybe I moved uh, 18 times in my life. But this one could be the house that was with La Roquette, that doesn't exist anymore, that was a very historical house because um, during the French Revolution, it was there, and they used to put the people, they bring the people, the royalists, with, uh, with chariots, big chariots, and they put him there, the women, that's for the women. And uh, while they were waiting, they are going to get guillotined, uh, <laughs> in, uh, just across my house, not far from La croix Fumba where you have the six, uh, the six big stones of the guillotine, then um, that's where they were waiting, and um, they were waiting, that's terrible, and I lived there. And when we moved there, I remember I was eight years old, then they have all kinds of, uh, of um, shelves, but they were very old, because it was a, uh, the, the man who was living there was a carpenter, and then they were really. Then my mother took them out. And surprise, they are they are on all the walls full of the poster, the poster of the French Revolution. And I look at it, but uh, well, that was done by hand because they didn't have those printing fancy. It was beautiful. And then I rolled them very nicely. And we had a big counter. I put it there and said, my God, that's really precious. Somebody stole them. You know, when you have something precious, people, uh, I don't know, they can know it. But, uh, but anyway, those posters, they are probably somewhere in a museum. That, so, uh, that the, the person who stole it was not for himself, because they were too big to put in a house. Then anyway, that's where the, um, the tricoters, they call, we call them the tricoters, because when they were waiting to be, uh, to be guillotined, they were knitting. And, and uh, it's amazing, because in that place with all those women who were knitting, my parents uh, moved there once, and they become uh, uh, knitters, <laughs> but uh, not by hand. We bought a beautiful uh, Swiss machine called Jacquard. Oh my God, it was so beautiful, and could make, that I'm speaking about 1920, um, 27, 28, those beautiful patterns, uh, beautiful things. Uh, we were the first one, I think, that had imported a, a mini machine of Switzerland to make a pullover in France of, uh, of Jacquard. But we had Jacquard, but it was imported. And then, because my uh, family was a um, uh, fabricant, a uh, genre fabricant, uh, fabricant means what? The one who. I don't know how to translate that word. Um, they were the one who, who makes them, okay, in big quantities. And that's my house. And, um, and uh, <laughs> one story I don't tell you, it was not modern. <laughs> when we moved in, we had to go downstairs in a, in a, in a toilet, um, old fashioned, and said, ah! <laughs> It made me afraid, but my mother says the first thing I'm going to spend the money, we are going to put it downstairs and the shower upstairs because it was terrible. And also, that was the bathroom for us, for a, for a garage that was a, that was getting in the other part of our house. They had a garage, and those men with their greasy feet. It was so dirty. Oh, it was disgusting. But you know what, uh, at that time, I'm thinking about 1928, 20, maybe, you know, it was lucky to have a, a bathroom somewhere. But my mother couldn't stand it, and one day she decided to, to make one upstairs. And we were, we, were, we were very few people in Paris who had in my district that were poor. 
that's how the bus going to Asia, going to house. But it was a nice house. But when I look at it, I had another house in almost Saint-Sumal, in the same shape. Uh, then I said, yeah, it's like uh, they have a soul and uh, they are, um, are coming back to life. And then from Paris, my, my house is now in Hermosso. And, uh, and like that, every time I move, I move, uh, I always think that the, the houses where I live is the same house, the same soul, like, uh, like if uh, houses have soul, I don't know. Maybe maybe I believe it now, because now I'm 87 and uh, I became so mystical. But at that time I could not uh, think like that, you know. Then that's my house, and uh, here is maybe all the people who used to live in that house. And then probably I am here, but I don't know which one is me because because I forgot when I when I paid. and then. Is that the people who came to visit us? We had a, a, a woman, she was a widow with her two uh, daughters. One was uh, Mathilde and Louisette. Louisette had a so beautiful voice. Oh, oh my God, she could have been a great act, uh, singer. And <laughs> this, this one, now that I'm 87, she contacted me in my, uh, in my subconscious and said, Do you know what? I stole your. Uh, your uh, doll, because I was so poor, I had no doll. And she said, you excuse me, I said, I didn't care about the doll. <laughs> it's, it's amazing what much can happen in life. Then um, we received so many people in that house. My mother was open door. Everyone who wanted to eat, when they have a problem, come here, I'm going to help you. And uh, then uh, uh, it was a mystical house because many people that came in my house that could not know how they were going to get married, how they were going to get uh, to pay their hospital fee, anything. They come to my mother. And my mother was very generous. She made very much money in that house because we had a fabric, I don't know what to say. Uh, we, are, uh, um, we make for one side pullovers and after we made all kinds of things, even hats, even uh, uh, water, uh, uh, no, um, raincoats, anything. They have so many uh, ideas. When 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 thing was not doing well, we changed it for some, something else. But my mother was doing all that work. She was cutting all the dresses, all the coats. She was so handy. And I said, she never learned. I said to my mother, but how do you know how to do that? I do it by night that I have to please her stuff like this, like that. And, in the morning, I do it. <laughs> that was amazing. And all that happened in that house, but unfortunately, not only good things. Because in that house, that was really a rocket. Uh, one day they came, they arrested my father and my brother, and, and they deported them to Drancy and to the house region. We didn't see them. We had so many good years, but the rain was no good. And uh, maybe it's because of uh, things that happened bad, finally, in that house, that one day I go to see my sister who lived not far from that house. And the house was uh, uh, demolished. And there was a big, uh, big, big house there. And that was the story of this house that received so many people, makes so many people happy, that give work to so many. And my father, I, I love that house because my father was so great and I learned so much from, from him also. When the, when the people came to work, he started to give them coffee au lait with croissant. <laughs> Sit down and, he, and uh, he went to the cafe next door, uh, bring me 12 uh, coffee with milk with croissant and the sugar and honey and, and because my father had a principal. He said, people come to work, you don't know if they have time or the, if they have the money. They have to eat first. And then every morning, that's what he was doing. And that was very nice. And also he had another thing. He pays a vacation. 15 days vacation to everyone, paid. Okay, go enjoy yourself, you're walking off. And 
I said it was, that was before the socialist laws in, in France, before Bloom, because my father was there. He was a socialist. He, he think that everybody needs to have at least the basis, good food and a, a good roof, and then he always pays them well to be sure they can afford their, their pay them everything. It was fantastic. And to his sister, every Friday, he came with bigger packages of food, but she didn't have frigidaire. At that time, we didn't have frigidaire. But probably he bought things that can keep. And he was very generous, my father. And all that happened on that house. But, uh, but the only thing is <laughs> the end. Because from those windows, we saw people coming to arrest my father and my brother, and they didn't come back. But that was my abuse anyway. That's maybe why it was put down after all. Uh, but this was an, an interesting story. One day my husband went to, my husband was an American uh, soldier who liberated France and uh, Europe, and he was in Berston Garden, and he was in the, in the, in the office, in the bureau, I don't know if you call it the bureau, the bureau of uh, Hitler. He opened the doors and he see all those medals, you know, with uh, the cross of the Nazi. And then he thought it was like a treasure, because uh, they were so beautiful, beautiful for the one who were, who were bad. And he brought them in my house. He said, look, I went to Western Garden, I opened the drawer of Hitler, First of all, we did something not very nice in his office, and we were three. <laughs> but I, I, I don't know if I can say it. Yeah, but he makes make the, the yeah, and he said to, to the two other people who were there, we are going to make pee all over. <laughs> That's what you deserve. It's a dirty place. It should look dirty. <laughs> and then he brought me all those medals from Hitler. And then he said, it's like a trophy for, for a soldier. I said, what? Oh, oh, I don't want to see that. He <laughs> said, but, but, uh, but it's value. It's uh, historical. It's a story. I said, OK, thank you. Then I went downstairs and that dirty bathroom that we have, I flush everything. <laughs> I said, OK, now here is your medal with a, OK. <laughs> and uh, it made me happy to get that, to do that. But all that happened in that house. And um, the place where, where uh, this house was located was called, uh, uh, during the king, the kings of France, called the Follies. That's why not far you have La Folie Regnaud, La Folie Merco, they all kind. And uh, it's because uh, the, the, the houses where uh, kings have, have little, king, nobles, I mean, have little house where they, they have parties and bring their, their, I don't know, their mistress. <laughs> it's not too, uh, because that's the story of the house. And uh, then, I had, after I, I moved from this house, I had the house in Normal saint sur -Marne. To me, it was the same house. I said, my God, I, I don't understand. It feels the same. And then I said, maybe, maybe, uh, Maybe houses have a soul too, and they that they go from one uh, one house to the other house, and that always was the shape. I remember in the social mom, I had the same kind of house. Then that's why I made a, a picture, and that says that's my house. That uh, that uh, make me speak about the generosity of my parents, how they work hard. Um, because you know what, they came from another country with nothing. Uh, um, Turkey was very poor. And then uh, my, uh, after the war, my parents decided uh, to come to Turkey, well, from Turkey to, to Paris. They didn't know, they didn't know anything. Then they, they were in a little hotel, very, very poor. And uh, when then my mother dreamt, and she said to uh, one of her, because, she, she uh, started a, a business in a, in a hotel room, can't you imagine? 
because she dreamed how to to cut a certain shape of of, uh, of skirt that was very beautiful and easy to do. And then, like that, she gave her work to all the people that were in the hotel. They were poor, everybody was very poor. And then she bought on credit a, 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 a sewing machine, she put them in the house, and they said, okay, you're going to all make money. And, and, they, and she made a, um, a little uh, tablier, I don't know, aprons. And then uh, all the people of, uh, of that district uh, around our house say, okay, here is a package, you go in a, in a corner of the street and sell them. And they were making money, all those poor people, because my mother had so great ideas, just for a small hotel, hotel room with three, and she had already <coughs> three children, and when we moved after she had five. <coughs> and then, that the house, so she, she earned, she earned by, uh, by helping other people to make a living. And it was a nice story. <coughs> <coughs>